Have you ever considered what makes you fundamentally human? Let's take a moment to explore humanist psychology. This fascinating field focuses on the individual experience, personal growth, and the quest for self-actualization. It came into existence as a response to the deterministic theories of psychoanalysis and behaviorism, offering a fresh perspective that emphasized the human capacity for change and growth. It's truly an approach that places us firmly at the center of our own lives. This approach to psychology puts us at the center of our own lives, doesn't it? A few brilliant minds laid the foundation of this empowering school of thought. At the forefront of these trailblazers was Carl Rogers, a man whose belief in the inherent goodness of people led him to develop client-centered therapy. Rogers saw the individual as the best expert on their own life, a radical notion at the time. His approach fostered a therapeutic environment where clients felt unconditionally accepted, free to explore their emotions without fear of judgment. Rogers believed that this unconditional positive regard was key to personal growth and self-improvement, a cornerstone of humanist psychology. As we pivot to another influential figure, we meet Abraham Maslow, best known for his hierarchy of needs. Maslow's Pyramid of Human Needs start- Hey, amazing viewers. If you're enjoying the content, consider subscribing, hitting the follow button, and giving it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot and helps us create more awesome content. Feel free to share your thoughts below. Thanks for being a part of this journey at the basic physical requirements for survival and culminates in the pinnacle of self-actualization. This concept suggests that the ultimate goal of life is to realize and fulfill one's potential, a journey that is uniquely personal and subjective. The roster of pioneers would be incomplete without Rollo May, who introduced an existential approach to psychology. May emphasized the human experience with its struggles and triumphs as the core of psychological understanding. His work underscores the importance of personal responsibility and the freedom to shape our destiny. These pioneers remind us that we have the power to shape our own lives. Their groundbreaking work continues to inspire and guide us as we navigate the labyrinth of human existence. So, what can we learn from this human-centric approach to psychology? Well, humanist psychology is all about us. It places a strong emphasis on personal growth, self-understanding, and the pursuit of our true potential. It's a refreshing perspective that sees individuals as more than just a product of their environment or a slave to their subconscious drives. This school of thought encourages us to take the reins of our lives and paints a picture of human beings as active, creative, and capable of change. It's about realizing that we have the power to shape our own existence, to set our own goals, and to strive for a meaningful and fulfilling life. Humanist psychology also stresses the importance of empathy, understanding, and genuine human connection in our journey towards self-actualization. From the humanist perspective, we are not isolated beings, but are profoundly interconnected with each other. Remember, you are the artist of your own life and humanist psychology gives you the tools to create your masterpiece.